Hi, it's Rob from Permaboss. I want to have a little fun today because one of the challenges we were told is we'd never be able to do uh, embroidery very easily uh, with a laser and that was the biggest challenge of software. Uh, what our competitors forgot is that we've been doing uh, Rhinestone. We launched that in North America almost 10 years ago. We were the first ones and we developed the software and we saw that we had to find a quick way to deal with vectors and right now what you're seeing are things that don't exist on any embroidery software and we are going to take artwork, a JPEG, vectorize it, create outlines and then create with one or two keystrokes a outer line and a solid line and that's the stuff that you're going to pick later on to create your satin stitch for the edges but it's difficult to do that and we can do line offsets so in one or two clicks we can add a millimeter, two mil three millimeter, a fraction of an inch uh, outline and that will be used for uh, your satin stitch, your running stitch, uh, tack down stitch, whatever it might be. And then we have all these duplication features so it takes seconds to duplicate it. With other laser softwares you actually have to go and pick each and every letter and apply uh, the rules to each and every letter. And you don't have to do any of that because you're working with the graphics so fast. We include this copy of Rhinestone Works. We could relabel it but we didn't want to go through all the expense of trademarking because it just costs the customers at the end. So the Rhinestone Works product is perfect for that. And that's included with every laser so you can go uh, within a minute and create this kind of digitizing for yourself. So here we have the patch, you see the red outline, and it's basically um, going around the outside and you can see exactly what you're doing. In this case it's just tackle twill and we're making a finished patch and what you see is the laser burning and cauterizing or just melting the edge. What we did, because the patch is green and the last edge is uh, yellow, we just added a small edge of green so when we did the cutout it matched the back like a small amount of satin stitch. Here we're just having some fun and we can show you that by different passes or more passes you can increase the uh, cutting ability and finally get all the way through. You don't have to do that you could just uh, basically perforate it with a laser. So we'll start over again. Okay so let's begin again. Here we've got uh, the original JPEG and what we've done is basically vectorize it with our software and I want to show you how easy it is to tear this down, break it apart into pieces, build it, uh, undo stuff, exaggerate stuff, put inline outline on it. It's so simple to do that with our software and that's something that uh, I, like I said even the biggest embroidery softwares are not able to deal with bad vector art, JPEG or create vector art. Adobe and Kill uh, Illustrator don't do it, um, Adobe Illustrator and Corel I should say, don't do it in as few keystrokes. Here what we did was uh, just basically created that one shape perfectly and then duplicated along the circle and we can add lines so we can see the symmetry so easy and uh, create inline outline. The reason you want to do that is to create a, a cut line and do it in a keystroke or two and manipulate things so that you're able to apply your laser rule or your embroidery rule to that. And there are buttons where you just click and everything's centered and equalized. If you've got uh, a series of JPEGs and you need to create artwork fast, if you can't create it within two, three minutes, then you're going to lose money. You can't send everything to China to get digitized. And most digitizing programs from traditional embroidery don't work this simple, this easy. And like I mentioned before, we always include that with every laser and give you a tutorial on how to use it. So here, uh, Stevens is working through and, and taking the outline, adding, uh, uh, let's say, another outline, making it solid, so that when you go into your embroidery software, you can just pick it and do the fill stitch, satin stitch, the running stitch, etc. And we just took it from a different train of thought. Sometimes when you don't know anything, you don't know any better and you find a different way of doing it. And embroidery's been doing stuff the same way for 40 years and everybody's been doing it the same way and we came from a rhinestone and embossing background where we had to deal with vectors much quicker. So there's the finished design in your embroidery software. Whichever one you choose, don't have to change anything. Now what we've done here is the same as before except we're going to assume that you're putting it on a garment. So that's the reason we put foil underneath because when you shoot the laser and you have these very tight areas like inside the, the rectangular little corners there 
inside the fire department wings. The laser is there very quick and it's passing by and going to be very hot. If you don't put the foil in, you will burn through. So Stephen realized and just checked because he did rather less than too much. He wants to use just the right amount of setting. And this is the first time he's doing it, so he'll apply the rule again and or the button again to create the um, the, the power that you need. And if foil is not used in videos on garments, you will find out when you own a laser that you will need foil. It's a complete myth to think that it's not needed and we show it and we know because people who buy other lasers end up calling us for our foils after the fact. So don't let a salesman tell you that, I just need to stress it. And it does pull away really easy when you don't use kitchen foil from Costco or from the grocery store. That's the big difference here. And now you can take the tweezers and just pull out those little sections. And this is important because the laser is very fast, very hot in a small area, and in the corners where it changes angles, it can burn through. That's not our laser, that's a fact of any laser that's a scanner or galvo, as they call it. Uh, not unique to the Permaboss next generation laser. And now we're going to do that thing again where we can cut it out. We could leave it like that if you had a whole series of patches in a larger hoop and the cleaning station could deal with it later on or you just playing with it and can cut it right out so it basically falls through. At the end of the video I'll take a picture and I'll add it in here so you can see up close what the end result was like. So now you can do laser etching, you can do reverse applique, you can do applique, you can do multi-level applique, 3D applique, you can make patches, you can make them in bulk and then put the uh, adhesive on the background, laminate it with a heat press, or you can just make it like this, uh, direct to garment, in this case we just cut it out, had we left the foil on it would have stayed on the garment. So there's three beautiful patches without going to China and you can make a dozen of them or 48 of them and make it in uh, half a day or a few hours. Give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks for your time.